Comparing ourselves to others is almost as common among us as breathing. Comparing our talent, our looks, our wealth, or social status are just a few of the areas we tend to line ourselves up against others. And it's impossible to deny that social media has increased this self-evaluation process, if not at least made it easier to do so more often. It was psychologist Leon Festinger who brought comparison forward for discussion in the therapeutic world in 1954 when he introduced social comparison theory. This is the theory that posits that individuals determine their own social and personal value based on how they compare with others. One such type of comparison is known as upward comparison. In this form of comparison, we look up to someone who has achieved something more than we have in life. This may be physically, socially, economically, or even spiritually. And while this comparison may positively motivate us from hypercomplacency, it more often creates the negative obsession to get or be more, which can lead to covetousness. Upward comparison causes us to often believe that those we are looking up to are more blessed, more talented, or simply have better luck than we do ourselves. We may even become starstruck and try to live vicariously through their perceived success. This comparison leads us to miss the unique journey and personal sufferings of those to whom we are comparing, robbing us from seeing them with empathy as fellow humans. It also creates deep disappointment and disillusionment once we learn of the truth behind the success we've been idolizing. But perhaps even more, this upward comparison causes us to miss the great gift of contentment. Contentment finds satisfaction with our lot in life. Healthy contentment finds its roots of faith and trust in God's wisdom and determined providence for each person as explained by the writer of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 3, verses 12 and 13. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live, that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. This is the gift of God. Contentment. This is what it means to follow Jesus, to be changed by Him, and to be committed to His mission. Let's pray. Lord, would you help us to find commitment this week? Help us to find commitment in the things that you have given to us, not wanting more than you are wanting to provide for us. Instead, let us celebrate the things that we have and let us do the same for others, knowing that you have given to them the things that you have deemed appropriate for them to receive. And help us to see one another with empathy, to not over-glamorize another person in what they may be achieving in life, but again, to recognize that each of us are human beings with unique journeys, filled with unique personal sufferings, as well as some great triumphs. And I pray that it would be with that honest kind of viewpoint that we would view ourselves and others. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.